Hey guys, I'm in Hawaii right now at Qualcomm's Tech Summit. Uh, and you probably have already heard by now, but at this event they've launched their new Snapdragon 845 chipset, uh, which is a successor to the ever popular 835 that we all know and love. But while it is kind of hard to get super excited about a piece of silicon when it's not actually in a device and we can play with it and do all that fun stuff, I have to admit, uh, I'm kind of excited. Now the full list of features on this thing is pretty exhaustive, um, but there are a few that I think stand out that we need to talk about. Now firstly, and something I am particularly excited about considering my line of work, uh, is the new capturing capabilities. This new chipset will not only allow for HDR playback, which we've seen on some 835 devices, but proper 10-bit HDR recording as well. Now, without getting too technical, uh, this just means that we have a lot more data for our photos and videos. So instead of 8 bits, we now have 10. Now, that means things like shades of color are a lot larger. Instead of 256, give or take, shades of blue in 8 bit, we now have over 1,000 in 10 bit. In addition to the color depth, there's also just a lot more colors in the gamut to work with. Now instead of the Rec. 709 color space that we're usually used to working in, that has about 16 million colors, this chip can now do Rec. 2020, which has over a billion colors. That kind of color depth and gamut are not even available on cameras that cost thousands and thousands of dollars. Now in addition to that, we have 720p resolution at 480 frames per second. Uh, which is like crazy slow motion video. They also showed off a feature that allows you to do cinegraphs directly handled by the chip. Now cinegraphs are those photos that have like a portion of them animated that are kind of cool looking. You've probably seen them in like a GIF or GIF format somewhere on the web. And of course, depth sensing technology. Because we all like portrait mode, basically. But all of that easily handled by the chipset itself. They're also pushing a lot of AR and VR tech with this new chipset. Uh, things like being able to handle room scale tracking, untethered. Uh, so whatever device that this is in will be able to track your position, put AR items into your vision, keep them there, etc. And it can do all of this uh, in an entire room. You can just walk around and you don't need to be tethered to a laptop, etc. At 2K per eye at 120 frames per second. That's better than like an Oculus Rift and an HTC Vive. Now, of course, that is all based on whatever displays the OEMs put into the devices that have these chipsets, because obviously those have to be capable of doing those things as well. But the fact that this chipset can just handle that, crazy. They also mentioned that it's able to do hand tracking, like actual hands, not just remotes, um, depending if obviously the device has the cameras and sensors needed, but the chipset can handle that. Um, and then they also showed off a cool feature that I thought was interesting called foveation. Uh, where it actually takes real-time eye tracking, again, if the device has this built in, uh, to see where you're looking at VR or AR and sharpen the graphics right there where you're looking and kind of let the rest of it not be as resource intensive, which makes total sense because your eye can only focus on one thing at a time anyway and it's how our eyes work. So, I don't know, kind of clever. Now on the connectivity front, they mentioned even faster gigabit LTE with their new X20 modem that's on the chipset, uh, as well as 802.11ad multi-gigabit Wi-Fi performance, uh, and Bluetooth 5.0 support that'll actually do uh, multi-streaming to devices specifically without needing a gateway to do so. Now one example of that is uh, when you have like truly wireless earbuds, normally what happens is it actually sends a signal directly to one of those earbuds and that, and that earbud then transmits it to the other one. In this situation, you can actually have the device itself transmitting each individual stream to each individual earbud, um, solving, in my mind, some of the issues that we have with earbuds now that include, you know, the fact that they're a lot larger because they need some of this tech on their own to do this, uh, and then also the connectivity problems that we find as well. And of course, there's the usual boosts in performance and battery life. Uh, Qualcomm is claiming 30% more performance as well as 30% reduction in battery consumption. A big part of that is actually thanks to a system cache that they've added to the chipset. Now some of the times they listed for some of the things that this chipset will be able to do is four hours of 4K HDR recording, three hours of VR playback, and up to two days of HD audio voice calling as well. On top of that, it'll support Qualcomm's Quick Charge 4 new standard, um, which will get the device from 0 to 50% in about 15 minutes. 
Now there was a lot more features that they mentioned, but I'd, in for sake of brevity, we're not going to go into all that. Uh, things including like a secure processing unit, and of course the usual talks of AI processing on their chipset. Which, by the way, Qualcomm was quick to point out uh, that they are on their third generation of AI processing unit. Don't you know? Um, but I, I don't have time. But all of this is obviously contingent on what OEMs do with the chipset and what hardware and software and all that fun stuff that they put into their devices to take advantage of all of the features that this thing can do. Uh, regardless though, I for one am kind of, I mean just I'm excited about how quickly the mobile tech industry is just pushing forward. I mean it hasn't even been that long since the 835 came out and now, I mean this is definitely an improvement over that and, and making some big claims. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool, don't you think? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you like this video, though, please thumbs up it, share it, or subscribe to the channel. All that is greatly appreciated. And regardless, thanks for watching.